Want to discover the five most popular neighborhoods in Roanoke? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hey everybody, it's Hal Cohn. And Chris Cohn with Cohn Realty Group. If this is your first time to our channel, 100th, 1000th, and you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please do yourself a favor, do that now, as well as that bell icon, so you're gonna be notified each and every time we release a new video about living, working, and playing, and a little bit of real estate here yes. in the Roanoke Valley. Yes, and if you're thinking about moving to or within Roanoke, Salem, or Botetourt, please let us know. We would love to have a conversation with you and see how we can help out. You can call us, text us, or email us. So you're thinking about moving to Roanoke or within Roanoke and you're wondering what are some of the most popular most sought-after neighborhoods here in the Roanoke Valley we have got the scoop for you because if you're not familiar with this valley there are so many choices and options and areas to choose from but we want to share with you some of the most five of the most popular neighborhoods per our clients and residents that live right here in the Star City. Absolutely. And so today we are here in the Wasina area mm -hmm. off of the Greenway here at Smith Park. So we've got uh, a yeah, little let's... playground over here action going on. And again, this is close to the Grand and Wasina area. So if yes. you choose that as your as your place to call home, you're gonna be able to walk down here. You can go fishing. The river's right over there. You can't see it from right here, but we'll make so sure convenient. we get some B-roll of that for you. But uh, we have had people consistently ask us about, hey, where, where are the most popular areas to live here in Roanoke? Sure. We thought we would share that with you today. And some of our clients just come in knowing, hey, you know what? I wanna be in Cave Spring or Daleville is really appealing to me. And that's great, but we also encourage you not to limit your search because no. a lot of people do come in and they say I want this specific area and then they look around and they say oh you know what I found a house that I love in a neighborhood that suits us right here in another part of town so just know that Roanoke has so much to offer and like I always say there's lots of pockets in Roanoke mm -hmm. that have just really unique qualities and the more time you spend here or ask people that live here you'll be able to find out that information too so why don't we have a quick overview of of what the market looks like in each of these Ooh, areas. Quick, quick overview. <laughs> can I do that? Yes, I can. Yes, you can so, do So let's just say these particular neighborhoods we're talking about today, they have seen significant appreciation over mm -hmm. the past year, probably more so than some of the other areas, but these are highly desirable, popular areas. Right. So because of that, the price of the properties have gone up uh, significantly compared to some of the other areas. So these are highly appreciative areas that are gonna help you get uh, long-term appreciation whenever you buy it. So you love that That's word right. appreciation, right? Because that means, <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lose money. I'm gonna make money over time. So as long as you live there, you should see increases in that value and equity for you long-term. That's so exciting. <laughs> and hey, just a disclaimer, we are not endorsing any of these areas. We love Roanoke as a whole. Mm -hmm. And actually we service over seven municipalities right here in the Roanoke Valley. So if you have questions about any of those areas, certainly let us know. We'll be happy to walk you through that and what the market is doing in each of these areas, including some general price points. But today what we're going to do is just walk you through from a native's perspective and from feedback perspective from mm -hmm. our clients and people that live here about those popular neighborhoods. So without further ado, let's get started now hey so we're gonna start off because right behind us if we keep following the greenway that way uh, from Smith Park you're gonna go towards South Roanoke right. which is one of the neighborhoods we want to talk about today it's close to Carillion it's walkable to the greenway those type those types of amenities mm -hmm. and as far as work goes if you're a healthcare provider uh, then you're gonna be super close and walkable to your place of employment. And speaking of modes of transportation, there's also a trolley system. It's free and it shuttles you from that area to downtown Roanoke, which is pretty close mm -hmm. to South Roanoke. I oh, yeah. love that. And it's so much fun for the kids and adults alike. You can just park your car somewhere near the trolley stop and then take that free trolley into downtown for dinner, lunch, activities, go to center in the square, what mm -hmm. have you. So living in South Roanoke, you're gonna find 
find a lot of amenities, not only in outdoor space, but also let's talk about the neighborhood. It is a historic area. Mm -hmm. So you're going to find a very historic South Roanoke downtown right there. And it is beautiful. They've got great restaurants like uh, River and Rail is one of our favorites. Fork in the Alley. <laughs> Fork in the Alley. Also Sweet Donkey Coffee Shop. Really good. And they even have live music and food trucks come out. Yeah, I've seen and that then, all over social media here lately. Yes. So they are out in force as far as having food and fun at Sweet Donkey. I think that's on Friday nights. Yeah. And then let's talk about the, the houses themselves. There's quite a variety of homes there style wise. And some are just incredibly grand and gorgeous. And a few little neighborhood parks tucked in. But what I like about it is the, the mature established tree-lined streets. It's kind of like a quintessential neighborhood. I would agree, yeah, kind of Norman Rockwell-esque for sure. But uh, if you're living in that area, you've got Crystal Spring there, which is a river and rail, fork mm -hmm. in the alley. Uh, there's even a 7-Eleven, so you make sure you get your coffee in the morning <laughs> if you Slurpees. need it. And Slurpees. And Slurpees, hey. oh yeah, of course. That's the most important thing, right? <laughs> so you can walk around there. You've got the trees, like she said. There's some parks there also. Uh, and then close to, close to that, when I say Crystal Spring as well, uh, there's a, there's the elementary school there, right? right? So, you know, if you check out your, uh, your great schools, you check out niche.com, you check out some of those best school ratings and Crystal Springs is going to rank really, really high, yes. uh, in that particular arena, as far as education goes for your little elementary school kiddos. Right. And one cool thing is it's very walkable, mm -hmm. the whole area. So you, there's many families that just walk right to the elementary school, which I think is so sweet. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's jump into another popular neighborhood and that's going to be the city of Salem. Right. Yeah. So here in Salem, it is west of Roanoke, but what you'll find here is a strong sense of community mm -hmm. and lots of community pride. And what we like about Salem so much is they have a historic and traditional downtown area. So you're going to find a lot of locally owned businesses there without sacrificing bigger conveniences mm -hmm. because just down the road, there's just about every um, fast food chain you can imagine and some big boxes too without it being very overwhelming. Yeah, so you don't have to leave Salem if you don't want to. Right. You don't have to cross the bridge and go over to Roanoke County unless you absolutely need to or want to and we're over there all the time. So, yes. so with that, you know, she said we've got a traditional, a small city center where we've got like breweries, there is pizza place, there are restaurants, library, there are parks coffee shops there are coffee shops so Pretty anything nice. that you need <laughs> small or to eat is going to be there but then you've got like your ollies you've got lowe's you got walmart you got all those big box places as well to be super convenient yes so another thing about salem is just how how wonderful they are about entertainment and activities and also like we said that has a strong emphasis on sports so they have a really nice record of that this is also where you're going to find the salem red sox mm -hmm. baseball team and also there's a salem civic center there which has great shows and um Great well, it's performers. got sporting events, concerts, mm -hmm. uh, they've got like rodeo there, there's been uh, motorbikes there, so you name it, it's going to be available within Salem. And then uh, we also need to talk about the fact that they are highly prideful and highly um, involved with their sports teams, especially at Salem High. And they've also got this amazing forensics team yes. that's won like 20 out of the last like 25 like state championships. And they just recently had a um, celebration when they were coming back a couple weeks ago that uh, they actually rolled out the red carpet for them like at one o'clock in the morning with right. the fire truck and everything else, welcoming them back into the community. I mean, if that's not special, you're not gonna get that everywhere. So they have their own parade which are a lot of fun so you're gonna feel that small town feel but with all the conveniences of a larger area now let's talk about housing in that area you're gonna have a lot of variety here too you've got newer construction all the way to split foyers to ranches over basement more traditional mm -hmm. styles so a variety of housing but also neighborhoods too so there's lots of little sub pockets I would say within Salem yeah there certainly are and let's not forget about the uh, the farmers market right, oh, right so there's right, a right. weekly farmers market right downtown where you can get fruits veggies meat honey 
the um, the donut lady shows up oh, there, right. and even if you're not a sweet person, you got to try one because she makes them fresh on spot, yes. and then they just melt in your <laughs> mouth. And you know what? It's worth mentioning that almost every single one of these places we're talking about has their own farmer's market. So we're really big into trying to support and eat local and shop local, and you're going to find that in Salem and these other places as well. Okie dokie. So you know me, I like the word mosey, so I'm going to say let's <laughs> mosey on up 81 towards Bob out of Tight County from Salem and talk about an area that's a little bit more rural so you're out a little bit but you still got the modern conveniences of the day that you're gonna appreciate as well if that's what you're looking for yeah we're talking about Daleville area and Botetourt so this is drawn this is a big draw for a lot of people because again they're looking at things like schools quality of life cost of living those types of things but in this area like you mentioned you can get a lot more privacy a little bit more bang for your buck in the way of lot size and home price and size uh, but you're also going to find a little slower pace of life and um, I love that rural lifestyle sometimes just to get away very very scenic in this area when we lived out there you could just really take in beautiful sunrises and gorgeous sunsets mm -hmm. off of our back deck yeah absolutely yeah and so when you're out there you know Delville is gonna be the closer part kind of the city center area for about mm -hmm. where so at Delville Town Center, you're gonna have places to eat, places to hang out and that type of thing. So you're gonna have like Tizone, you're gonna have um, Mexican restaurant, which I can't remember. Rodeo Chico. Rodeo Chico. <laughs> You're gonna have Donnie D's for oh. amazing New York style bagels. Yeah. Although I do, we do have one subscriber that says, unless you have the New York City water, you don't have a true New York bagel. Interesting. But you know, those of us here in Virginia, we don't really know the difference unless we've been up there and we are not transplants from up there. So they do the us, best they can. They taste pretty darn awesome, in my opinion, at least. And you know, I like food. That's right. Yeah, so aside from restaurants, like you said, there's a lot of amenities there or close by. It depends on how much privacy you want, how much acreage you want. We've got a lot of clients that are looking for homesteading areas, and this is a good attraction for them. Um, let's talk about housing types. We've got, again, you're gonna hear this over and over again. We have a variety of housing types, lots of diversity, and that's what I like. You're not gonna find one area that's completely suburban, that has just the same development after development mm -hmm. after development. You're gonna find traditional homes here in older neighborhoods. You're also gonna find newer construction. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it just runs the gamut. It's based on how far how far in you want to be to Daleville and how far out you want to be for privacy. Yeah, let's also talk about you got some of the closer areas like Troutville and Blue Ridge that are still Botetourt mm -hmm. County, but they're like just right on the edge of Roanoke County. So you'd be super close to being able to get into Roanoke City if that's where you're working, that type of thing. So it's going to be easy commute if you're out there like 20 to 30 right. minutes max, depending on how far out you go. So uh, it gives you kind of the best of both worlds. And let's not forget about the natural I amenities, gonna, right? I was going to say, yeah, this is the heart of the Appalachian Trail is right there. If you're into hiking, camping, biking, mountain biking, anything like that, man, this is a place you want to be. You are, it's an easy commute, as you said, mm -hmm. to all of these outdoor amenities you're just going to love. Yeah, you're going to have kayaking on the James River, mm -hmm. Catawba Creek. So get out there, play, and have fun when you move to Botetourt. Okie doke, so let's talk about neighborhood that is Grandin Village, which encompasses Raleigh Court, the Grandin area, as well as Wasina. So Grandin Village itself is gonna be kind of the hub for all things Raleigh Court, Grandin, and Wasina. Yeah, these are all very close in proximity and pretty much adjacent to each other. That's why we're lumping them together. But families and clients and people really are drawn to these areas for a number of reasons, including how it has an urban feel. It's very walkable, lots of cool amenities, locally owned businesses, restaurants, and activities, that tight knit community feel. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, um, and it's just convenient and it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. So let's talk about one of my favorite things, right? Let's talk about food. <laughs> so let's go to food first. So so food, when you're in the Grandin area, you're gonna have access in Wasina, you're gonna have access to the you're gonna have access to the Green Goat as well as Bloom. Oh yeah. And then in Grandin proper, you're gonna have 
the Village Grill, you're gonna have Scratch Biscuit, you're gonna have Local Root, which is amazing, mm -hmm. and then you're also gonna have Taza, Taza. Rockfish, I mean, y'all, there's yeah. a ton. Anything you want, you can find in a cluster of about three blocks. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and then there's also shopping there. So you've got like some, you got a furniture store, you've got clothing, right. you've got um, accessories, home furnishings, that type of thing. All right there in Grandin proper. Yeah, and a ballet company, and there's also the historic Grandin Theater. Oh yeah. If you haven't seen our video on that, be sure you check it out. But there is just so much natural food co-op. That's a fantastic place too. So all of that is jam-packed in. And then when you go to your neighborhood itself, again, you're gonna find front porches, walk, um, excuse me, sidewalks, friendly neighbors and friends yep. that you can really bond and connect with. Three so, line streets. Yeah. And, th and then for Christmas, there's a big oh, um, right. Christmas light decoration contest, pretty much. Right. <laughs> over the, that makes a canopy over the road on Westover yeah. in, um, in the Brandon area. Right, so neighbors actually join together and decorate the entire street. So talk about cooperation. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yes, absolutely. But you'll also, talking about seasonal things, they have their own parades and festivals and food farmer's truck market. things. Food, yeah, farmer's market food is really rodeo. cool. Food truck rodeo, that's always a fundraiser that right. happens over at the Village Grill. Yeah, so let's talk about housing now because you have to have some place to live. Yeah, you do. In these areas, you're going to typically find more historic homes. So you're looking at things like four square style. Also, you'll find some ranches over basements. Not very many split levels or new construction. No, not in that area by any means. You find a new construction in there, it has been a lot that they put a new one on, which is great because mm -hmm. people want to be in that historic area, but That's some right. of them want that newer feel of a home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last but definitely not least, let's jump into one of the places that was voted the a best place to live in Virginia. Wow. So that's gonna be Cave Spring. Yes, Cave Spring is an area that is just southwest of Roanoke City proper. Mm -hmm. And it's in Roanoke County and people really are drawn to this area no matter what stage of life they're in. And I think that goes without saying in all of these areas, no matter what stage you're in, you're gonna find something that suits you. But I think this area in particular has a nice appeal because it's for single folks, it's for retired, it's for families, it's for any stage that you're in. Yeah, no matter who you are, you're gonna find a place that you like in Cave Spring. <laughs> if that fits your, um Fits your plans, yeah. fits your goals, fits your... That wish list. Yeah, that wish list. There we go. <laughs> check, 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 right? Right. So, so one of the things that people love about uh, Cave Spring area is the fact that they have access to a lot of amenities. You've got mm -hmm. lots of different types of shopping. You've got some shopping centers uh, like Promenade Park. You've got uh, you've got restaurants. Tanglewood so like, Mall. Let's Tanglewood talk about Mall, Tanglewood yeah, Mall. Yeah, which is basically half Carilia now with the pediatric center there. I know, isn't that wonderful? Which is pretty darn awesome. Yes, yes it is. But let's talk about some food though. <laughs> you just can't wait to get to food. I okay. can't, I always wanna start with let's... food. I think that's what everybody wants to know about, right? That's right, let's Guys, eat. Leave me a comment about that. If I need to stop talking about food, I will. But uh, anyway, so Cafe Asia 2 is there. Right. There's so much to choose from 419 here. West is there. Right. Uh, let's see, Montana's, Montana's is on the cusp of South Roanoke and Cave Spring. Mm -hmm. Carlos's, Brazilian restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, there's obviously fast food, but we always try to promote local businesses. I think four, and Ramini's is Ramini's, there. Ramini's, I just thought so about that, good. yeah. Good Italian. Yeah, El Rodeo. There's lots to choose from in this area. And, um, you know, I think 419 is one of our favorites because it's always so consistent. Yes, and delicious. absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and, and then it, when people always want to be able to eat well, you're also gonna have access to good health care over mm -hmm. there. And then the school system, check niche.com, check those areas. Highly, highly rated there. So that's another reason that some people are drawn to that area. Right, yeah, and you're not gonna go without being close to a lot of things, including those outdoor amenities. You've got access to a lot of parks, walking trails, and also like sports complexes. Oh, yeah, let's not forget about South County Library, right? Because oh, yeah. there is a so great nice. area there that you can walk around, right. or some platforms, or some nature trails, that type of thing. We've had pictures taken over there for family photos. So, sweet. so it's a really cool spot because it's right across the street from Penn Forest Elementary. Mm -hmm, which has a great playground. So it was super convenient though, it's right? It's right in the heart of Cave Springs. So you can go there, and then you've got Starkey Park, you've got lots of sporting complexes 
tennis and that type of thing as well if you're into that so you've got rec leagues and everything on that front <laughs> okay so let's rein it back in and talk about housing in this area you are going to find um, more established homes and neighborhoods those tree lined streets again sidewalk areas walkable areas there are some newer subdivisions that have gone up and newer construction which is terrific mm -hmm. there's even a pocket of mid-century modern homes that i love <laughs> we've got a lot of those kind of um, spread out. out the valley yes. but they are there is a seems to be a higher concentration in south roanoke yeah. county and cave spring They're hard to come by typically they I are think yes once people move into one they do not want to leave no not but at all <laughs> lots of um, options and diversity of housing in this area as well all right so that's just the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. of the amazing opportunities to find a blah, blah, blah. That's just the tip of the iceberg in finding a great neighborhood for you yes. when you get ready to move to the Roanoke Valley. That's right. And like that Southern expression says, this is just made to wet your whistle. <laughs> so check out our other videos about the Roanoke Valley. Make sure you call us, text us, email us if there's anything we can do to answer any questions. And we'll see you when you get here to Roanoke. Bye-bye.